guys, I want to just touch on this encouragement for you. It is in Philippians chapter 4, verses 4, verses, like I said, verses 4 all the way to verse 7. So let's just read it and just get encouraged by it. So it says in verse 4, Always be joyful because you belong to the Lord. I will say again, be joyful. Let everyone know how gentle you are. The Lord is coming soon. Don't worry about anything. Instead, tell God about everything and ask and pray and give thanks to him. Then God's peace will watch over your hearts and your minds because you belong to Christ Jesus. Now, this is encouragement. A lot of times we are discouraged because we're letting our mind and our flesh do what it wants to do and it, and it just pulls us away from God. The key thing is to run to God. Go to God with your concerns. Go to God with your discouragement. Go to God with your depression. Go to God with your anxiety. Go to God with your stress. God wants to give you the peace that surpasses all understanding. Now, the only way you can do that is if you run to God. Don't run from God. Don't run away from God. Run to God. Let God encourage you. Let God motivate you to allow your mind to be set free from the discouragement, to be set free from the anxiety that you're feeling. Now, when it says, ask and pray and give thanks to God and God's peace, will watch over your hearts and your minds because you belong to Christ Jesus. Now, if you're a Christian, you, your mind and, and your heart belongs to the Most High. It belongs to God. Now, God can allow you to have that heavenly mindset knowing that when hard, time, hard, hard times come, it's not always going to be easy. But know this. It's an example. I want to share something with you. Think about this. When water enters the home, it's pressurized. It has a lot of pressure. And when it leaves the home, it is not pressurized. Now, when you enter this life, you're going to have trials. You're going to have frustrations. You're going to have pain. You're going to have suffering. But when you leave this life, if you are a Christian, you're not going to have that pain anymore. You're not going to have that anxiety. You're not going to have death. You're not going to have sorrow. You're not going to have depression or suicidal thoughts or whatever you may be going through. You will have the hope of heaven and you will be in complete freedom from those problems because you will be with Jesus Christ. Now, if you don't have Christ, you need to understand one thing. We are separated from God if we're not in Christ. The Bible says we're enemies of God if we're not in Christ. And the number one thing you need to realize is you need to know the gospel message. For is the power of God to salvation. Number one, you need to realize that you're a sinner. You need to realize that you've broken God's commandments. Whether you lie, cheated, or whatever you've done, you need to realize that you do not measure up to the perfect holiness of God and you've been separated from you need to realize that you're a sinner you've broken God's commandments second you need to repent of your sins you need to realize that you are living a different lifestyle you need to run to God and live a lifestyle for him other thing you need to do you need to realize what Jesus Christ did on the cross that he came and lived a perfect life and died on the cross third day proving to be God and took your sins and the punishment but it was a change for him on the cross because he wanted to die for you and give you that hope of heaven. The last thing you need to know, you need to receive the gospel message. Now back to our scripture. I want to just encourage you with this. When the hard times come, they will. Spiritual battles are real. The Bible says to, for the spiritual warfare, we don't fight against flesh and blood, but against principalities and demons. Now the temptations are real. Now the spiritual warfare is real. But when those times come when you're depressed, when you're discouraged, you have to set your mind on the things of God. You have to set your mind on His promises. So just know this. this is the, the, the peace that surpasses all understanding can guard your mind. But you have to run to the Savior who wants to encourage you, who wants to motivate you to know that you're loved and that that peace is real and you will experience that peace. So in closing, know that you're loved. Know that God is in control of your mind and your heart and He is sovereign over your life. But also know that you have to run to the one that can take away that pain. That what can help you endure that pain. And that can help you go through this, not, not alone, but with God. God bless. Have a good day. Bye.